Hi again. Many years ago, back when I was goofing around on my little Casio tone, I used to look in awe at pictures of Uber instruments like the Fairlight CMI here, what with its page 6 ability to let you freely draw any waveform you like with a light pen, or page 4 where you could manipulate the magnitude and duration of each of 32 harmonics of a sound, or the display-only page D with its cool 3D view of slices of the sound, basically a skewed stacking of the waveform shapes at different points in time and all rendered in magnificent green on black phosphorescence, of course. I decided to do my own take on the concept, and what I've come up with is a kind of cross between some of the bits of the Fairlight and aspects of the soft synth Zebra's spectrum morphing. I wanted to keep the whole thing simple, clean and accessible by having everything within easy reach on the one panel, so you can readily perform all your mods and edits in one place and get pretty much immediate feedback as you do so. Okay, this window is where you draw your waveform. Whatever you draw here represents one cycle of the sound. When done, press render. The app now creates as close an approximation to your drawing using 32 harmonics, and the harmonic spectrum is presented in the middle window here. You can change the heights of each of the harmonic bars by simply dragging and dropping them, and as you do so, the change in the wave shape is updated in the first window. Similarly, you can modify the waveform by dragging and dropping and observe the harmonic spectrum change as the waveform shape changes. Right click on the spectrum or waveform to copy the spectrum and then left click into any one of the 8 keyframe slots. A thumb of the spectrum appears in the keyframe and a timeline position dot for that keyframe is highlighted beneath the keyframe. And a stacked time varying view of the waveform is displayed in this third window. Now because you would need at least two keyframes filled for the harmonic spectrum to morph from the first to the second over time, and since we only have one filled so far, there is no time variance, which is why we see the same waveform shape all the way through in the stacked waveform view. However, because we have at least one keyframe filled, we can play the waveform with a MIDI device, a keyboard, sequencer or whatever. Now I'll create another waveform by clearing the existing one and drawing a new one. This time, I'll just dab a few points like this, and the app will join them, so we have a sawtooth, and the spectrum indeed looks like a sawtooth spectrum, where the height of each harmonic relative to the fundamental is 1 divided by the number of the harmonic. So this is half the height of the fundamental, this is third, this is a quarter, and so on. Now we again right-click the spectrum or waveform to copy the spectrum, and left-click into a keyframe. Now when I play the keyboard, the sound will morph between the spectrum of the two waveforms as a stacked waveform display shows, and you can see the magnitude of each of the harmonics change dynamically as I play. Slide the timeline dots corresponding to these keyframes closer or further apart to change the time frame over which the transition or morph occurs. Now I'll create one more keyframe by editing the spectrum of one of our existing keyframes. Drag and drop the keyframe onto either the waveform or spectrum window. Now we modify the spectrum profile, right click copy, and then click a keyframe to paste. If we drag and drop a keyframe onto an existing keyframe, it swaps the position of the keyframes. Now let's play this. Moving the keyframes further apart increases the sound transition time by the number of timeline segments in between. Double click on a keyframe to delete it.
You can of course make use of the interactivity between waveform and spectrum editing in whichever way you like, but I find I tend to manipulate the spectrum profile for finer and more intuitive control over how I want a keyframe to sound, and use the waveform drawing feature to easily obtain the spectrum of classical waves like sawtooths, triangles and squares, which through experience we all know the sound of and also what their spectrum profile looks like.